Here's a super cool beach cottage down by Women's Sea with its original shingle siding and wood putty glazed windows. The homeowner has decided to bring it back to historically accurate condition, which meant replacing all of the windows with windows that would match what would have been put in in the early teens of last century. In the process of doing this, we also found that we needed to replace quite a number of shingles. And so I created a new system for dipping the shingles so that they would not cup over the long haul. Dipping allows you to seal the back side as well as the front side of the shingle so uh, it will not cup and curl. Here's the paint professor again with your pro tip of the week. Let me show you a cool little setup I made. I needed to dip a bunch of uh, shingles, so I created a, a bin here with my oil and a rack with wires to hold. After I dip my shingles, I put them in the rack. You can see I've got this plastic patio overhang. I've tipped it at an angle so that when I put my shingles in, they drip down this way into my my little plastic gutter, which then drips into my catch bucket. Uh, it's turned out pretty well. I've uh, this is my first time doing anything like this, so I, I thought about it a while and, and thought, well, oh, this this ought to work pretty well. So there it is. Uh, we'll let these dry overnight, stack them, and then uh, and then do another set. And that's your pro tip of the week from John Peak, the paint professor. Now the windows are going to get long-term protection by doing a pre-treatment before priming. We are using penetrating epoxy to soak into the, all this bare wood so that basically plasticizes it before priming and it's going to prevent rotting for years and years. So here is uh, San Diego Sash, the workspace. These are some of the windows that I worked on last week. These have been uh, epoxied, primed, and then they're going to be installed in the frame. Looking good, man. We're pre-treating the, uh, the sashes with an epoxy. And that way, we'll keep these uh, windows from rotting over the long haul. We're right down by the beach, and so it's important that everything be sealed super well. Not just with primer, but with, uh, with this clear penetrating epoxy and then primer. Here are some windows that we did last week, and then they had to trim them a bit for uh, fitting into the, uh, the frames. Hey, this one right here will go into this frame. So we hit it again with some epoxy, and we'll prime it again on that edge. Now we're doing all this before they put the glass in the sash itself. Uh, and that way, all these, uh, all these hidden surfaces that'll be behind the putty will be completely sealed up. So our goal is to give these folks windows that uh, when I'm dead in the ground, they're still gonna look sharp.